Okay, question number three from the Pure Mathematics 2 International A-Level Sample Assessment Paper. Um, question about the trapezium, the trapezium rule. Y equals the square root of 3 to the power of x plus x. Complete the table below, giving the values of y to three decimal places. So we just have to substitute the value 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 into this formula. We can just use our calculator for this. So we have the square root of 3 to the power of, we'll start with 0 0.5, um, plus 0 0.5. And that gives us 1.494. We got to write it to three decimal places. So that's right, 1.494. 1.494. And we got to also do the same with 0 0.75. We can just go back and change that to a 7. Change that to a 7. So 0 0.75, 3 raised to the power of 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 under the square root gives us 1.741 to 3 decimal places. 1.741. Okay, the rest of the table is filled in for us. Then part B says use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from your table to find an approximation for the value of this. Okay, so we have some space to do this work now. Um, basically, what it is, is you have a curve. And you're going to make trapeziums from this curve. That's what the trapezium rule is. Now, some people just memorize what to do without actually understanding what's going on. And they just memorize the formula, which I guess will work. However, to find the value of this, what you need to do to think about is that this is the distance between the parallel sides of the trapeziums. Just say your graph, it looks something like this. It's going to be one. It's really going upwards, isn't it? It's going to be going up like this. Okay. Supposing this is 0. This is 0 0.25. That's your x values. 0 0.5. 0 0.75. And 1. So you can see that you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 trapeziums. Okay. And you can see that they're made up by these um, ordinates. Okay. So when x is 0, y is 1. That's... What you're doing is to this curve, you're basically making these into tra tra trapeziums and you're finding the area of each trapezium individually and adding those areas together. That's why it's an approximation. So basically what we need is the distance between the parallel sides of the trapeziums, which is 0 0.25. It's, it's like equal widths between these. So you have 0 0.25. Now remember, the area of a trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides. So you've got to divide this by 2, then you've got to multiply by the sum of the parallel sides. So if you look at the first trapezium, you're going to use this 1, and then you're going to use this 1.251. That's this length here. Okay, those are the two parallel sides here. But for the second trapezium, you've got 1.251 and 1.494. So these, this is used in this trapezium and that trapezium. This length will be used in both these trapeziums. This length will be used in both these trapeziums, but the last length will be only be used in the last trapezium, and the first length will only be used in the first trapezium. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these two and add them together, and then the rest of them I'm going to multiply them by 2 and add them together. So 1.251 plus 1.494 plus 1.741. All of those have to be multiplied by 2. We add them together, and then that should give us the approximate area or the approximate value of this. Okay, because the value of the integral between 0 and 1 of this is equal to the area under the curve. And this gives us an approximate area under the curve. Okay, so you can just stick this into the calculator. So you have 0 0.25 over 2 times 1 plus 2 which is 3 plus 2 times all of this 1.251 be careful putting the values in don't lose marks for just a typo 1.494 okay and plus 1.741 okay do I need two brackets Yes, I do. And 
and that gives us 1.4965 1.4965 and we can write our answer to three decimal places 1.497 okay so that's how we got our answer and part C says explain how the trapezium rule could be used to obtain a more accurate estimate for this well what we could do is we could increase the number of trapeziums the number of sorry about my handwriting there of trapeziums okay by taking for example we could take um instead of every quarter every eighth okay every eighth 0 0.125 0 0.25 yeah we could take every eighth 0 0.125 okay then the more trapezium you have the more accurate you're going to do okay use 0 0.125 intervals for example okay so that's how we could um, increase the accuracy okay by using smaller strips using smaller strips that's increasing the number of trapeziums using small intervals okay that's fine as your answer